Today, we are presenting our brand new technology, the Salt Facial, which is a relaxing three-step esthetician treatment for ultimate skin rejuvenation anywhere on the body, and it's safe for any skin type. Plus, Dr. Goldman's here to share how we can combine it with our other esthetician treatments and our 50 plus laser light and energy devices for best possible results. So without further ado, I would love to hand this over to Dr. Goldman, who's gonna take you through what the Salt Facial is all about. Great, well, thank you so much, Risa, for that wonderful introduction. And I thought that we would start out with some science. So this might seem like it's boring, but it really isn't. So when you look at what damages the skin, you can see on this slide that of course, we all know that exposure from the sun or ultraviolet exposure is the number one thing that causes signs of skin damage. And you can see in the middle, the signs of skin damage are wrinkles, of dispigmentation or hyperpigmentation, rough, dry skin, even spider veins, redness and sagging. That's what causes, that's what the sun does. But it's not just the sun. What we've been learning, especially over the last five years, is that hydrocarbon pollutants, so pollution in the air, is also a major factor in causing all of the signs of sun damage from the irregular pigmentation to wrinkling. And this occurs because of something called free radicals. Free radicals are basically um, sort of a chemical reaction that occurs in the skin that damages the DNA of your skin cells. Now, we all know also that smoking cigarettes with uh, uh, the increased nicotine can also cause uh, sun damage not only because of the nicotine causing a problem with the blood vessels, but also the tar, like the pollution that we have in the air from cars, can also cause the damage. And of course, if you're excessively old, just the fact of aging alone can cause a breakdown in your collagen and elastic fibers. So how does skin age? It ages because we basically lose our collagen and elastic fibers, and that causes wrinkling. And we basically are destroying or disrupting the normal function of a pigment cell called a melanocyte, and that causes the irregular pigmentation. And the reason that we get new blood vessels and redness is that ultraviolet damage that penetrates the skin actually affects the blood vessels. So instead of the blood vessels sort of being tight together, they are looser and they expand and that's why we see it. So that's basically what happens uh, when we're aging our skin. So next slide. You can see very graphically in these three separate patients, an Asian patient, a Caucasian patient, and an African-American patient, that over time, this is what happens. Now, when you see these numbers, like on the Asian patient, zero, one, two, three, that's decades of life. So when she was a teenager, she had incredibly beautiful skin. Number one is when she was in her 20s. Number two is when she's in her 30s. All the way down to number seven, when she's in her 70s, you can see how the skin actually crinkles and ages. It also occurs in Caucasians. Again, similar uh, numbers. In the zero, this is when the patient was in her teens. The two is when she was in her 20s. And then you can see 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, how much older. But even African-American patients that believe that their skin is protected by the melanin that they have so that they're not aging, they still will age. And so it's important no matter what your ethnicity and skin type that you have to pay attention to what causes aging of the skin. And again, the most common and important reasons are ultraviolet damage and pollution. Next slide. So there's so many treatment options that we have available. And fortunately at Cosmetic Laser Dermatology, as Risa pointed out, we have over 50 different laser light and energy devices that can all make your skin better. But we also have non-lasers. So you see here that the, we have things like the Clear and Brilliant, Intense Pulse Light, 
Alexandrite lasers, PicoWay lasers. Literally, we have millions of dollars worth of laser machines. But you can see on the bottom, we also have different types of chemical peeling. And what Farzaneh is gonna teach us today is how something like the soft facial that uses a combination of laser lights and chemicals can give you pretty dramatic results for people that are okay with having three to four treatments, uh, getting that same result and patients that do not wish to have a lot of downtime that sometimes can occur with our laser energy and light treatments. Next slide. So these are some of uh, my patients. Uh, this is actually a really nice guy. His name is Charles. And, and as Charles was getting into his early 50s, he has an incredibly beautiful wife that's only in her 40s. And so Charles wanted to look more handsome. And he had this irregular pigmentation because he's a, an avid cyclist. And so all we did with Charles is we treated his excessive blood vessels with a pulse dye laser called Synergy. We treated his general skin with a, a laser called Fraxel Dual, which is a very specific laser that I've actually had done too. And then we treated all of the spots, individual spots with an Alexandrite laser. And you can see how much more handsome Charles is. So now he looks much better when he's out with his gorgeous wife. Okay, next slide. This is a patient of mine, a, a very beautiful a younger patient in her 30s who has very bad rosacea. And you can see how red the rosacea is. And so we have a number of different blood, uh, treatments that treat blood vessels from things like V-beam laser or Synergy lasers with your pulse dye lasers to intense pulse light to other more fancier types of lasers that can uh, treat even larger or deeper blood vessels. Next slide. And then of course there's sagging skin. So as we get into our 60s and 70s, the skin really starts to sag. Of course, a facelift or surgical procedure is definitely an option and can achieve outstanding results. But of, of course it's surgery, which requires stitches. And even with the best plastic uh, surgeons around still can have scarring. And so this is why we have a number of different treatment options that can tighten the skin. On this patient, we use something called the Thermi RF procedure, which as you can see, really makes a dramatic improvement in the neck and the tightness of this patient's skin. Other times we'll use a, a system called the Softwave or Ulthera, which are focused ultrasounds. Other times we need bulk radio frequency with the thermage. We can also do a silhouette uh, threading or insulip and RF microneedling and laser resurfacing. So there's a wide variety of options. And the specialness or the special part of coming to any of our physicians at Cosmetic Laser Dermatology is that he or she will be able to choose among all of the different technologies sometimes combining multiple technologies to get you the best result. We just don't have one laser in our office that we use on everything. We have every possible type of laser light and energy device so that we can tailor your specific treatment to the device or devices that will make it work the best. Next slide. And this is another one of our patients. You can see a very attractive 50 year old, but is starting to get a little bit of sagging, a little bit of pigmentation problems. And so with this patient, we did a fractionated laser resurfacing with active and deep FX lasers. We could also do clear and brilliant or intense pulse light or Fraxel or radio frequency microneedling, microdermabrasions, even the Farzani chemical peels. But on this patient, since she was a little older and needed a little bit more done, we basically just treated her with two different lasers called Active and Deep FX. Next slide. Now, when patients get to be this wrinkly, um, they don't, you, you, it's, it wouldn't be totally honest to say that we can get them to be perfect. This, this patient 
could require a facelift or surgical procedure. But we, on this patient, we actually treated her with just Farzanase chemical peels, as well as her salt facial, which she's gonna be talking about. We could also have used different neuromodulators like Botox or Dysport. We could have used uh, dermal fillers and laser resurfacing um, and intense pulse light and microneedling. But here you can see with Farzanay's expertise, we were able to get a dramatic improvement just with Farzanay's uh, expertise. And next slide. So what I'd like to do now is I wanna turn this program over to Farzanay, who's gonna give us an in-depth talk about the science behind the SALT facial. So Farzanay, it's all yours. Thank you, Dr. Goldman and Risa, and uh, hello, everyone. Tonight, I will be discussing the power of the SALT facial and combination therapy. A little bit about myself. I'm usually looking for developing new treatment and new idea and combination therapy. I'm someone that really likes to, to like try the different things and, and really, really find what is best for my community as well as my patient clientele. I always look for the next best thing. What is going to give my patient the best outcome? That's why I am so excited today to talk about the salt facial skin renewal therapy. We have three steps of treatment. And because of three step treatment, I basically working from top of the skin all the way down to the dead dermis for restore, replenish, and rejuvenating the skin. And when we say salt facial, this is more than facial. This is a corrective and preventive treatment. Many patients asking, what is the difference? How is different than hydrofacial macrodermabrasion? Believe me, not even the same category. The salt facial renewal therapy, we can make it this one as our, like, uh, as life as salt, our life as salt because it treats multiple layers of the skin for a healthy glow and maximizes the penetration of the skin product. The step first, I use the sea salt exfoliation the surfacing. The idea is I'm going to pre-up the skin and soften the skin, allow to remove bacteria and sterilize the skin for the next few steps. As you see it here in the video, actually we don't have suction. It is very special patented hand piece with the special angle and a positive pressure. It was developed to ex exfoliate the skin and remove the dead skin cells. This exfoliation is extremely powerful and most important is also very gentle and improve hydration of the skin because of the sea salt. We are going to move to the second step is cavitation ultrasound, which is, uh, this is a unique treatment. Actually, it has just right amount of energy that is open the cells and allow the products to penetrate at a deeper layer of the skin and give the skin a beautiful glow. I usually use the peels. I usually use the peels to have to improve the color, tone, texture, and a glow of the skin. So the third part of the salt facial is the LED phototherapy. It is very intense light. It has so much power to do so much more than our, our average LED light. We can do collagen destruction, skin rejuvenating. It kills the bacteria that cause acne. It is good for inflammation. It helps with stimulated the cellular, improve microcirculation, and it increases collagen production. And again, it kills acne causing bacteria. 